Stadium here in the capital city of Columbus as they get set to host this exciting football contest. And now we bring you the coin toss, and it's presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Penn State is lined up to kick the ball off first, and we are ready to go. Excellent kick. He's to the 20, and he's taken down at the 23. The Buckeyes having a wide receiver like this, I think sometimes it even helps a young quarterback because this kid goes out there, he works hard in practice every day, and I think he really lifts the whole offense. I think he does. I think he's almost like having an extension from the coaching staff into the locker room with the players. He's a guy that makes big plays, but I think he takes it upon himself to be able to help out with some of the other receivers, make sure that they're all on the same page, understand the route adjustments, understand everything that goes on with being a wide receiver and the importance of blocking. So all the little things that seem to add up and make big plays, uh, and I think this guy un totally understands his responsibilities being a go-to player. It's second down, and they're about two yards away from the sticks. Three down, three down. Go. Watch seven. Watch seven. Go. Ah, ah, ah. Throws. Ah. And it's going the other way. Rock down around the 44-yard line. He telegraphed that throw. He eyed his receiver the whole way. That was an easy read by the defense. From their own 44-yard line, it's first down. Nice run to the outside. So the halfback gets some decent yards and a first down. He got by a couple of defenders and made it to the sticks for the first down. From the 45-yard line, first down. So it's second and ten. Ball on the 45-yard line. Now he's scrambling. Just throws this one away. This crowd can really be intimidating for an opposing team. Complete. He's got room. They'll bring him down around the 27-yard line. I like the call here by the defense to bring the heat with the outside linebacker. It was just a better call by the offense, and that's why it's a first down. From the 27-yard line, first down. He scrambled. And he just gets rid of it. And this is the eighth play of the drive.
It's the ninth play of the drive. The intimidation factor is definitely here when you're playing in this stadium. He's scrambling. Under heavy pressure. Throws falling back. Incomplete. He's short that time. No question. He had him open, but just couldn't manage to get the ball up enough to allow his wide receiver to get his hands on him. So the kicking team is on the field. They'll try for three. It's up, and it sails through the uprights. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. And he got all of this one. Great kick. He's to the 20. He makes it out to maybe the 20-yard line. The Nittany Lions are right where they want to be early in this one, partner. Well, this is what their coach talked about, getting off to a great start. The defense did their job, and it's nice to see the offense move the ball down the field and also get some points on the board. The offense comes out to start this drive, and they're hoping for a better result as they threw a pick on their last possession. He's got a lot of time to forget about that last pick. He's just got to stick to the game plan. Gains his way to the 29-yard line. That brings up second and nine. It's second down now, and they're just a few feet away from that first down marker. He's tackled the 37-yard line. Good, solid running right there. Getting past the defensive lineman and into the secondary before he can be stopped. sack him the pressure was still enough to force a bad pass if you can get in there and disrupt the pocket then the quarterback is going to have a tougher time getting the ball to his playmakers second down 10 to go ball on the 37 he'll get it again and he tackles him hard at the 46 To be successful, you've got to be able to come through on third down, and that's just what they did with that big run. We've got a first and ten. Ball on the 42-yard line. Pressure got to him, and he put it on the ground. They fall on it. Close one there. Maybe the ball carrier will try a little harder to secure the ball next time. They find themselves in a hole here after that sack. It's second and long. Tackle made right around the 44-yard line. So at the end of one, the Nittany Lions in front, 3-0. And we welcome you back to the action here, and we have got a tight one going on in quarter number two. The cavalry's coming. Goes quickly, and it's almost intercepted. Johnson's intended receiver on the play. That makes it fourth and 12.
And they could really put their opponent in bad field position with a good punt here. This one will go into the end zone, and they'll bring it out to the 20. In a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. Penn State has a three-point lead. Singleton gained seven yards on that play. That'll bring up second and three. Second down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. Mike 35, Mike 35. Set, line 80. And he's tackled around the 38 yard line. First down. Tries to buy some time. Zips it to the tight end. He's at the 40. He's taken down right around the 26-yard line. So let's see how the defense responds now. It's first down and 10. Completes it, but he can't shake the defense. This is smart, efficient play call. You don't need to make the highlight reel on each play. Pickup. That makes it first and ten. First down, ten yards to go. Ball on the twelve. Penn State is up a field goal. Here we go. Play fake, looking to run. Here comes the pressure, and they push him out at the three. Crowd in the line. Ready. Touchdown, Nittany Lions. There are some guys when they get near the goal line, they just have a knack for getting the ball into the end zone. That's what we saw right there. converts the extra point. A seven-play, 80-yard drive, and a touchdown as a result. Brad, I thought the offense did a really nice job of mixing up the play column on that drive. I thought the defense was on its heels most of the drive because of the versatility of the offense. So the score now, 10-0. Johnson fields it at the two. He's to the 20. Across the 30. He finally goes down at the 48-yard line. Fred, everywhere we go when we travel all over the country, people want to talk about offense. Oh, the spread or the pistol. Hurry up, tempo offense and points. It's nice to watch a team that prides itself on playing great defense. When it's all said and done, the teams that advance and get to the important bowl games and do well in the postseason are teams that have this kind of defense. Makes it out to about the 36. Six yard line. It's first down. Tackle at the 17. There's nothing more effective that a team can do offensively than to pound the ball right at the defense, trying to wear them down.
first and ten. Ball on the 17-yard line. Catches it, and he's looking for more. Big play, and it's first and goal. a yard on the run. Well, those are the kind of hits that'll take some miles off a ball carrier. From the four-yard line, second down. They're trying to stop the run here with a goal line defense. Breaks a tackle and he'll score. Touchdown. Quarterback just made that one look pretty simple. Now, this quarterback isn't your average player. He runs the option very well and gives this defense fits. Trying to get within a field goal. They'll try the point after. And he tacks on the extra point. A five-play, 49-yard drive. And they add seven points to the scoreboard. Brad, that's one of those drives that can just tear your heart out. It can really demoralize the defense when they drive the ball down the field, and a lot of the yards came on the ground. So our score, 10-7. He's taken down at the 17-yard line. Both defenses really played well so far. Well, up to this point, both defenses have dominated this football game. We'll see if they can hold on to that mentality the rest of the way. Momentum swings have been fairly even. And with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. Penn State is up by three. Looks for his running back incomplete. That makes it second and ten. Second down and ten to go. Ball on the 17-yard line. He's out of bounds. That one goes for good yardage and a first down. Yeah, that's just a nice gain on second down. Tight right, tight right. Four down, four down. Mike 35, Mike 32. Right. 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 He's going to try and scramble. Big catch there as they knock him out of bounds. First and ten. Ball on the 39-yard line. He's at the 30. He's at the 20. He's knocked out of bounds around the 12-yard line. That makes it first and ten. From the 12 yard line. First down. And they get nice yardage on that run. Penn State holds a field goal lead. Let's go. Red 18. Red 18. Brought down at the three yard line. 
It's third down, and this offense is about three feet away from that first down marker. They're one of the loudest crowds in the country, and they are on their feet. There. Just give it to your main man anytime you're near the goal line. And he hits the PAT. So a seven play, 83 yard drive. And they put up seven points. Brad, I thought that was a textbook try. I thought they did a really good job of showing balance, mixing the play calling with the run and the pass. Just an overall well-executed touchdown drive. The score now, 17-7. He really got a hold of that kick. He's to the 20. He makes it out to maybe the 23-yard line. As they head to the locker rooms, this one is far from over. Penn State's got a 10-point lead. Glad to have you with us in the studio for the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Reese Davis and David Pollock here completely locked in on that first half. One of the unintended consequences of this game, if Herb Street and Nestler have a flight to catch, they ought to be able to get there on time. <laughs> this thing's flying by because both teams are running the football that's minimizing the number of possessions in this game because the run games have been so dominant. Yeah, you just run, you eat the clock. A lot of times you wear out other defenses too. If you hold the ball for long stretches of time, you see the second unit start to come in. So th these are huge body blows that pays dividends later in ball games. If you can run the football effectively, now listen, you want to sprinkle in the play action, but the running game's definitely making this game go fast. Incompletion, stop the clock. If we're not throwing many of them, don't worry about it. Just going to run the football all time. That'll do it here in the studio at halftime. We'll try to see if Pollock can bring a little energy in the second half. He's got a lot of games to watch, including yours. Brad and Kirk, ready for the second half. Welcome back, everybody. Second half action about to begin. Sends it sailing downfield. He's to the 20, looking for the corner, and he's shoved out of bounds at the 27-yard line. The offense will take the field, and they've been moving the ball very well on their last couple of drives. Gets it out quickly. They'll bring him down around the 29-yard line. From their own 29-yard line. It's second down. Throws out to the back, and it's through his hands. Six-yard line. First down. It's first and ten. Ball on the 46. Keep 15. Keep 15. Mike 35. Mike 35. He's under some heat. Slings it. It's the sophomore that's got it. He's tackled at the 20-yard line. To the 20. First down.
It's first down and 10 now after picking up some great yardage through the air. Sets them up with a first and goal. That's a deep 12 on the play. That makes it first and goal. Hey, watch that. Hey, watch the ball. Mike 35, Mike 35. Ready. Right 80. Right 80. They make the stop around the eight yard line. That brings him second and goal. It's second and goal. Eight yards out. the gut that makes it third and, goal. and this is the eighth play of the drive and the goal line defense digging in here This isn't much more than an extra point. Kicks away, and he got it. They line up to kick this one away. It's fielded at the two. He's to the 20. They'll bring him down at the 24-yard line. There's got to be some sense of urgency to this offense right now. They don't have the luxury of wasting drives if they want to get back in the game. They'll knock him down for a loss. Loss of two by the halfback. Second and 12. So it's second and 12. Ball on the 22 yard line. Fires it out. And he's immediately tackled. Show and blitz. Under heavy pressure. He throws right. That close to being intercepted. That'll bring up fourth and one. down at the 31. Three points was the result of their last drive as the offense heads out for another. And he's tackled at the 30.
from their own 30 yard line. Second down. And this is still anyone's ball game as we head into the final quarter of play. 20 to 7, Penn State. All right, we're just about set to start action here again in the fourth quarter. He's on the run. He's under pressure. The ball is loose. The offense scoops it out. He goes out of bounds. The 39-yard line. So it's third down, and they've got about two yards to go. They can't hear a thing down there. the middle for a nice game so we got a few yards on that carry if you can continue to pick up small chunks of yards like that you can really start to wear a defense down first down 10 to go ball on the 44 yard line Singleton gets about four yards on the play. That makes it second and six. Second down and six. Ball on the 48. Mike 35, Mike 35. Here we go. Green 19. Green 19. Check. Hammerhead. Hammerhead. Check, check, check. 200 check. Hands it to the back. He's taken down at the 47 yard line. Third down now, and they need to get it inside the 46. I don't know if they'll be able to hear his cadence in the midst of all this mayhem. Strike to the fullback, incomplete. Thompson awaits the snap. Knocked out of bounds at the 22. So he got a little on that return. Well, Brad, early it looked like there was an opening there, but the seam closed quickly. So we're just about ready to return to action. A little more than two minutes to go in the fourth quarter. He's under pressure. Now he tries to buy some time. Makes the grab, and he's knocked out of bounds. Big play right there. They call it a catch, but the booth signaled down to the referee that they'd like to take another peek at this. Man, as I see this play again, it really looks like he made the correct call on the field. Well, I think the play warranted a review, but the call on the field stands. Intercepted there. You like a team that's ready to defend the pass. It takes some preparation to get in the way of a pass like that. From the 28 yard line, second down. Just throws this one away.
under pressure. Deep pass to the end zone. Touchdown, Buckeyes. They looked awesome on that play. A well-thrown football and a great effort to get the ball into the end zone. And he tacks on the extra point. So a fourth play, 79-yard drive. And they come away with a touchdown. I think the big thing there, Brad, is that they were able to execute the passing game. When you can get big plays and great execution, obviously you're going to move the ball down the field. He'll return it from the three. He's to the 20, looking for the corner. He's pushed out of bounds around the 46-yard line. Both teams realize that when the ball is snapped, we're one play away from a very different ball game. Just under two minutes in the game. And he's taken down right around the 42-yard line. The defense was playing run all the way right there, and it paid off for him. We've got a second and 14. Ball on the 42-yard line. Scrambling around. He gets hit out of bounds at the 49. Check, check. Fighter. Fighter. Listen to this place. Complete. He's got room. Tackle at the 37. You obviously have to worry about him as a ball carrier, but he showed here that you have to be concerned about him as a receiver as well. He's got good hands, and you know he's good in the open field. From the 37-yard line. It's first down. And he's tackled after positive yardage. Singleton gains seven yards on that play. Ohio State will take their final timeout. Nice run up the middle. First and ten, ball on the 26. Brought down at the 17. It's second down now, and they're just a few feet away from that first down marker. Penn State up six. play is number eight on the drive and this should be a kneel down as they just try to kill the clock and the quarterback's going to take a knee to drain this clock and any hopes the opposition may have had A great one to win, a really tough one to lose. 2014, Nittany Lions. As we take a look at the highlights, Kurt, how would you summarize the action in this one? Well, this one really could have gone either way. Ohio State played a good game out there, but they needed to make one or two more big plays, and they couldn't do it. Who knows? Another couple of minutes, and this one may have gone the other way. That's going to do it for this presentation of NCAA Football 14. For Kirk Kirk Street, this is Brad Nessler saying goodbye.